but there's always a chance that this has a lifetime subscription and I'll test that out. And the lifetime subscription on this particular model should be worth about 200 bucks. As historical author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard, estate sales, antique malls, thrift stores, junk shops, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our two antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We are outside the eBay cave. We're going to take a look at the final haul from the two yard sale videos that were actually done over one Saturday morning. Um, that you saw this last week had a lot of questions about what we bought and what we passed up on so i'm going to let you take a look at some of the good buys and a couple of the not so good buys but overall we had an amazing week and a uh, great time as well so let's take a look <music> All right, like I said, we had a great time and we got a ton of great stuff. Um, some of the items I thought were going to be terrific turned out to be okay. And some of the items I thought would be okay turned out to be terrific. So a lot of antique booth stuff and a lot of eBay stuff to resell. All right, so I don't often buy cassettes, but I, I have been selling a few cassettes in the booth. And these I didn't want to pass up because we just got them in that first lot at the first sale, the unattended yard sale. Um, they were... Um, just part of that giant lot that uh, quite a, quite a few things were but these acdc cassettes will probably sell in a lot for anywhere between 12 50 and 15 dollars uh either medium mail shipping or first class and they should be make about eight to ten dollars profit on those um and then three leonard skinner ones probably around 10 to 15 on those and then one Jimi hendrix will end up putting that in the booth for a buck probably maybe yeah maybe two um, these were some great, um, great buys from that same yard sale. Um, paid thirty dollars for thirty dollars for everything we bought at that yard sale, and these three Grand Theft Auto games combined will probably sell them all together and probably get thirty bucks for those three. Uh, Tomb Raider will sell. Um, Dino Crisis will sell. I think the Dino Crisis game. Um, is probably the best and, and some of you guys out there Ben maybe you need to tell me if I'm correct or not I know uh, um, Wes could probably tell me as well from over there at Doggy uh, Flips there and I think that's probably a $25 game I may be wrong it may be more than that I'm not sure it is complete it is a black label so maybe you can help me out with that got a few uh, CDs in there that we'll put in the booth as well the Insanity DVDs are probably a 15 to 25 dollar sell they look like they're either new or certainly complete um, got a few blu-rays this is the one i really wanted i just got the others for some throw-ins to put in the booth this one is the one i wanted um, either to give it to one of the homeschool hustlers uh, turner um, but i like it because it's got the blu-ray dvd and it's got the digital and sometimes the little uh, hint here is when they're new like this you can sell them separate so um, we actually don't have Blu-ray. We have DVD, so I'm probably going to keep the DVD for Turner. Sell off the Blu-ray loose and uh, sell the digital code off as well and probably end up making $10 profit on those. The Guitar Hero, and you know what? I haven't looked up this Guitar Hero, I don't think, in a while, but this one, I believe, it's got everything in it. It's probably a $40 to $50 plus shipping item um, that we got for five. Actually, we got a lot less than that because it was bundled. Um, these books down here, and you saw me got that, get this in the first of the first video yard selling videos with the lady that uh, had the husband that was that did the uh, the uh, podcast. And these, believe it or not, they are called um, Alice in Bible Land, and this is a set of twenty. And these should go for around fifty bucks. Um, so really happy with that sale. Uh, this set of Disney here, and these are reading, uh, young reader, young readers library. These Disney's, and I believe they're from the 70s, should go for, or early 80s, should go for uh, about 50, eh, $40 probably on eBay, um, medium mail shipping. Um, these are going to go in the booth for probably a dollar a piece. 
all of this I paid, I think, $4 for. And then these down here, I think, were two? Maybe four. I can't remember. I think they were two, but I have to look back. Uh, no more than five. I can't, I can't imagine. So we're going to make really good money on those books. And then these will slow, uh, be slow sellers, but they'll sell in the booth for a buck a piece. Um, another children's Bible. This is from uh, Old Time Gospel Hour. It looks like it's in new condition. I'll put that on eBay probably for about 10 bucks. This one, the Book of Psalms, two-tone leather Bible. Bought it for a buck. Should go for around 15 This is a neat one. A lot of these uh, Audubon Society things don't go for very much, but this one is an old one. It's a field guide to birds, and it probably is a 10 to $15 item plus shipping. Um, you saw me buy these for a buck. And I said, I don't know why I bought them, but I thought they looked neat and they were complete. And so we got these pencils for a buck. And I think I'm going to comp these things out. No sold comps, but from what I see, these should be a $15 sale. There's only one out there like it. And I don't like the listing. I don't like the way it's listed at all. So I think I can get some better keywords in there. And I think this item is going to sell really well for about $15 plus shipping is my guess. Plus, I said in the thing that Reagan would probably like it. And of all the things she migrated to, it was these colored pencils. So I might keep them for her, but we'll see. These items up here I bought for either my classroom or to sell in the booth. Um, this item actually sells on eBay. They have these, I guess they're minerals or precious minerals or stones built into the globe. This is probably a $25 item to sell on eBay. Um, 20 at the lowest, 50 at the highest. It does have one little condition issue on one of these little stands, little compass at the bottom. Not a bad little globe. I might put it in my room, might sell it on eBay, might put it in the booth. So I have to decide. Either way, we're going to make some money on it. These I bought for a dollar, and they may go in my booth. Looks like a perfect history teacher uh, um, item for the classroom, but they may up in the booth for five bucks. I'm not quite sure. Um, this is a great item right here. You should always keep an eye out for these. These sell on eBay fairly well. People use them for so This one's a softball one. Um, they use them for baseball, and they're, they're little sticks that they that you hold on to. they got a little handle at the bottom. See the pink there? This is for softball. And they use them to practice hitting. They use, we can use them for baseball as well. But a lot of times, if you list these on eBay, list them as uh, golf practice items. Warm up for golf and things like that. It needs a little clean. It needs a little clean job. Um, and this will sell on eBay, I believe. It could go to Played Against Sports, but it's going to sell on eBay. And I haven't looked up comps in a while, but I used to get 30 bucks plus shipping for these. All right, this is a uh, Coca-Cola item, obviously, and I have seen these before. These go for around $25 on eBay. Um, I will probably put it in my booth for $25, and if it doesn't sell fairly quickly, I will drop the price down to $20 maybe 19 paid five bucks for it actually paid less because it was in a bundle the floby if you have never bought a floby before i suggest buying some flobies um, my wife has bought some in the past i bought some a long time ago this is probably uh complete it's at least 50 dollars plus shipping um, i bought this for my wife for my daughter um we may end up selling them they don't have a ton of value these paperback sets because they don't hold their condition very well but the Laura Ingalls Wilder, this could easily sell in the booth um, or on eBay, but we'll probably keep it and, and use it for my daughter if they're in good enough condition that uh, Blue Ridge Mama wants to keep them. So, um, I thought this Sony would be better. I bought it. You always check to make sure you know, everything, the knobs are good and the antenna is complete and not broken um, and there's no corrosion. This was a pretty good little machine. I figured this would be a $25 machine plus shipping, and it's not. It's more like a $15 item plus shipping. Um, which is still good. I mean, I only paid a little bit for it. So these used to go for a lot more too. So this is another bit of a disappointment. I had sold these for $25, $30 all day long in the past. And they look like they're going down under $20 at times. Um, some even cheaper than that. So I was a little disappointed. I may end up putting this in the booth for eight, nine bucks and not bother with the uh, hassle on eBay. Um, I don't know why I bought these. It, it was, uh, I think I paid three bucks for, for the both of them. They are in really good condition, new. I think these people who got these were probably dumpster divers and got them out of a dumpster is my guess because the stuff they had at their, at their uh, yard sale. But they're little piggy banks. I don't know, Turner may end up with them, but uh, they may go, I haven't even looked them up on eBay. I can't imagine them having much value, but maybe. And I'm gonna put them in the booth probably for three or four bucks a piece. 
really happy with the Tupperware. Tupperware's been selling really well, as Blue Ridge Mama said. These are the old cereal bowls. This reminds me uh, of my childhood. Um, Commonwealth Grammy out there, you remember these. Tons of them. I didn't even count them. Looks like there's probably 12, 15 of them. Um, we'll probably put them in the booth for a buck fifty a piece, believe it or not. Um, and they'll sell. Or we might bundle them all together and put 20 bucks on them or something. Who knows? Another little piece of Tupperware that's been selling well. We'll put a dollar or two on there. I don't know what that one is for in particular. I have to look that one up. And then the deviled egg case. And I've sold these on eBay. Probably will not sell this on eBay now. I have so much to list of higher value, but it, we will put it in the booth. Got them so cheap. Probably three bucks on that one. Some Dan Post boots. Now this, initially when I bought them, I'm thinking booth because we sold a pair of boots really, really quickly in the booth. And I know boots do really well in the booth. So I went ahead and looked them up in their 12D and I looked up the number for Dan Post. They're not in amazing condition on the bottom, but everything else seems to be in great shape. So I'm thinking in the condition they are, they're probably still 30 to $50 boots easily on eBay because of the size being so big. Um, either that or we're going to put uh, put them in the booth for uh, for probably 20 bucks is my guess. These Nikes, BK vent Vending and Flipping out there, you know, I don't do uh, too many shoes as you've seen. But uh, these were in really great condition, maybe worn one time. And they are going to sell for around $35 is my guess. So happy with that one little uh, plate again sports item back there that helmet should get a few bucks at plate again sports for us and it was part of that big bundle deal hey i skipped over this realistic i haven't even looked this guy up yet but these usually are good for around 10 to 12 bucks for little realistic radios um get some headphones to go with it there was no corrosion in the battery so those are really nice i might even play that myself while i'm out mowing the grass who knows Got two more super shooters. If you watch the other ones at uh, October, November, and a little bit into December, these things will sell pretty well. You can also piece them out and uh, easily easy twenty bucks. Uh, I've sold hundreds of them over the years. Um, this little ITT phone, because it's a rotary phone, most of phones like most phones like this have the touch tone. This is a rotary. I'm thinking it's a fifteen to twenty dollar phone. I might put it in the booth for ten bucks. And I literally took that one out of the wall at that one sale. Um, these are going to be some items that go to Play It Again Sports as well. I'm hoping to get four to five bucks out of those at Play It Again Sports, but I'll wait till I have a lot of stuff to take there. This Sirius Radio is a, um, it's worth the gamble. Paid a couple bucks, actually less than that because it was in that bundle as well. And this Sirius Radio comes with all the accessories. Got the manuals, got the remote, everything. So as it is working, it is probably a $25 item, but there's always a chance that this has a lifetime subscription, and I'll test that out. And the lifetime subscription on this particular model should be worth about $200, bucks, so I'll have to check that out. Box full of buttons. Just tons and tons and tons of buttons in here. Just heavy as could be. Thousands of buttons. I think... I think I'm just going to give them to my wife and tell her, hey, do something with these. She'll either list them in lots on eBay or she will put them in little jars and sell them in the booth. We paid two bucks for the whole box. My guess is when it's all said and done, we'll end up making $50 to $100 on that box, maybe more. Got some more cassettes to put in the booth. Nothing special, just kind of throw-ins and probably 50 cents a buck maybe on each one, maybe a buck 50 on the American Tail, not quite sure. Forgot to mention the ESPN mug. I saw that, thought it was really neat, vintage look to it. I don't know if it's really vintage or not, or if it just has that vintage stoneware look to it. Um, I'll probably put 10 bucks plus shipping on eBay and, uh, and make some money on that one. Betrayal at House on the Hill, Tesla versus Edison, an old Scrabble game and a Scotland Yard game. So these, I would say, just estimate 10 to $20 profit a piece, maybe a little less than that on average, maybe $12 on average a piece. The Scrabble will just go in my giant drawer of Scrabble pieces that I part out. I sell the little board separate, I sell the game board separate, and I sell the pieces separate. So we just piece them out, and then when we get giant lots, we sell them all together. Um, got a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, this is a Camelot. Camelot uh, Livre 1. This little set goes for around 15 bucks. I bought a few things that I like, the kids might like at ET. 
um, Karate Kid. I know my oldest boy liked that, and that's the DVD trilogy, so Turner will probably like it here in a couple years. That actually might sell. Um, Saved by the Bell. This will definitely sell. It is new in the package. It's probably a $40, $50 item right here. I would say at least $40 for that one. People like to relive their youth. Um, a few more games here. This is nothing special. I'm not sure any of these are anything special. They may end up going to um, to the uh, game booth at the flea market and selling those off. A couple of Nintendo GameCube games, which are okay. Probably $10 to $12 games a piece. That's my guess on those. I think I've sold those before. Uh, Growing Pains. I actually thought this would be a good one to resell. They're brand new in the package. There's two of them. Figure one listing, sell them both. But this actually does not go for very much at all. So I was a little disappointed in this. Maybe about eight bucks, but we'll still make some money. Dungeons and Dragons will go in the booth. Actually, you know what? Growing Pains might go in the booth too. I just might throw them all in the booth to save the time and, you know, put a few bucks on them and see what happens. All right. And over here, a couple more Play It Again items. If you saw me negotiating, that guy was negotiating hard and I got that T thrown in. Uh, he wanted five more bucks for the lot. I got the tee thrown in. I'll get five bucks out of that. This, I used to be a baseball coach, so I recognize this right off the bat. This is a, an old L screen, and there were two of them at that sale. Um, but one of them was in really poor condition and was rusted. And this one was in really good condition. I think still wrapped up. And it is a portable L screen for a baseball team, uh, like a travel team. And it will probably sell at sell to play it again sports because i don't want to go through the hassle of selling it i might put it on facebook at Mark marketplace or offer up and sell it locally as well but i'm thinking it played again it's a 25 dollar item and it will pay for just about everything at that one yard sale uh or i might put 50 bucks on it and do it local and uh hopefully sell it for 40 just want to mention somebody here that gave me a a little hint and I was talking to on Facebook the other day. And if you haven't already, well, go check us out on Facebook. Oh, and my kids have their own uh, Instagram account that Reagan wanted to start. And so it's the Homeschool Hustlers on Instagram. So go check them out too if you would. And this item here is a typewriter stand. And I paid five bucks for it. Actually, it got thrown in that bundle. And I thought it was really neat when I got it. I'm like, hey, I'm going to check this thing out. And... Um, I never did, but I said, hey, I'll give you five bucks for it. It's in really good condition. It's got a few little scratches, but it has these really neat, almost like steampunkish, um, you know, mid-century industrialization kind of uh, levers to it. And it's got some levers here as well. It really looks neat. It says out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And it is a typewriter stand. And typewriters are so collect collectible that I thought this item would have resale value. And it does. I could sell it on eBay, which seems like a crazy thing to ship, which no doubt it is. Um, but uh, I was talking to Duane Westfield, and they have a Facebook um, Facebook uh, group. I believe it's self-sufficiency, if I recall. Anyway, Duane, if you're out there, let me know if I'm right. And I was uh, kind of lost in that site the other day. It was uh, it was awesome. So um, she mentioned, I think, in the mid morning break room, if I believe using roadie i think it was roadie as a as a delivery service and i'm wondering if i could list this thing on ebay and use roadie as a delivery service because the people that collect typewriters want this particular um typewriter stand it's kind of neat out of philadelphia so at any rate there's uh kind of what i wanted to talk about there i love that little stand and i've got one more thing we can't overlook and here it is this right here, Dave Matthews Band, there are 28 of these, I believe. And I paid five bucks for the whole lot. And they will sell for around $9.50 plus shipping, about $7.50 profit on these items. So we're looking at about $220 profit selling these all from one listing it might take a long time but this is the kind of stuff i like i spent 111 dollars on every single thing here and just that little pile right there is going to double our money all right just to do a quick job through these jackets you know uh the cardinals are doing pretty darn good this year they are i think they just moved into first place 
in the central and this is a great jacket in great condition and it is i believe a logo i'm not quite sure genuine merchandise logo athletic it is it's not a vintage one but it is logo athletic and it's made in korea so it's not the newest jacket in the world but this cardinal jacket is probably worth it's embroidered probably a 50 dollars jacket is my guess um especially if the cardinals make the playoffs this year and uh paid a couple bucks really less than that i mean i bought all this stuff for i think 20 bucks if you remember y'all um it was an unbelievable deal usa basketball this is a used one nike dry fit i'd say it's 40 dollars used this is a brand new one i'd say it's probably 70 to 90 dollars brand new for this one i did not see any comps on this one but it's sweet looking kind of old school nike air and uh, air force one it's probably 20 dollars plus shipping uh this jeep one used is probably a 15 to 20 dollar shirt plus shipping it's a it's a hoodie it's in good shape this is a skating jacket i think kr3w is a fairly decent brand um not positive but it has a really neat look to it i bet i can't find a comp for that particular one i'll put it out there for like 25 bucks um plus shipping uh uva football jersey i have no idea why i bought that sorry uva fans they're not the best in the world um but it is embroidered it, you know somebody's gonna pay 20 bucks for it uh peyton manning nfl equipment jersey in really good condition it's gonna sell probably for 40 bucks and an old john mayer concert t-shirt that was kind of a throw in probably a 10 to 15 dollar item so any anyway, rate, thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.